we're going to talk about uh, using subtotals in QuickBooks. A lot of people don't know that they're around, actually, <laughs> that they're available. So subtotal is actually an item. It's considered an item. So you'll find it on your item list. All right, so if I go down and I create a new item, see here I have a subtotal item. All right, and you can have, you can call it whatever you want. Maybe you want to separate out labor total and, okay, and then you also want to have another subtotal item for expenses. Expense, expense, if I could spell, total. Okay. All right, so you have those two subtotal items now. Uh, so when you go in and create an invoice, um, if your customers prefer it this way, you have here your item. We can say we're going to do some carpet, 10, and we're going to do some... Painting, quantity of five, and we have our labor total, okay? So it gives you our total labor cost right here. Then I'm going to go down, and I'm actually going to skip a line and start doing our other areas. So we're going to say our, mm, our flooring, and we've got um, 1.5. And we've, you know, whatever the, the unit of measure is, we've got a door frame. Okay, it's warning me I don't have any of these in stock, so we're going to say two. And now we have a expense total. Okay, so you can call this whatever you want, parts total, whatever it is here. So what's nice about it, we're going to go ahead and preview this and zoom in. When a client sees it, you can see here's our total labor, labor total. Here's our total flooring, flooring total. And it breaks it out for you. And you can add some more spaces in there if you want to. But uh, I've had a lot of questions where people want to separate those out into separate columns. But this is how to make it work in QuickBooks.